This is how to sell to merchants your inventory for double or triple what you get for them. There's two parts of this. There's two ways that you could do this. Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Are you now, whatever trip, whatever, whatever you're at, forget about the weapons, apparel, accessories. You want to go into consumables or items. If the merchant has the same exact item that you have in your inventory, this will work. This is the part one. So here we're going to go minor experience booster. We're going to go down here. I'm going to show you. I have three minor experience boosters. He will buy them for me for 75. So. I'm going to buy one minor experience booster from the merchant for 437. Do not exit out, just go directly to the cell. Go down, down. Bought items. I can now sell my other three minor experience boosters at 437 instead of 75 each. Boom. Now, he has no greater potions. This is the way it works. This will not work for stolen items. Don't know why. I guess it's because it did, the game differates as you can see i've got two greater healing potions they're both stolen and then i got nine regulars you could sell one of your stolen ones to the merchant and this will work and it'll actually do it so you notice that he'll only buy it from me for 299 so here's the deal you sell one of your potions to him now, after you sell it to him, you exit to buy out or sell completely. Them. Always looking to make a bit of coin. Then you go back in. You talk Always open to him. For business when the road is your you go down to sold items. This is what you sold him. You find <laughs> that potion. Okay. Now you notice I have to buy it back at 1,156. It's okay. I'm going to buy that. Boom. Now without Xing it out, go directly over to your cell. There you go. Those nine regular potions I can now sell. Instead of selling for 200 each, I'm now selling all nine for 1,156 each. We'll sell all 10. Now remember I started, I had what, 150,000. So I sold the minor experience potion. Now I'm selling this. 162,000. That's it. Pretty simple. So, we're going to recap here. If the item has the same exact thing of yours for sale, all you need to do is buy one item and then flip over to sell, and it'll be down here in the sold item. If he does not, you sell whatever item it is, then exit out of the conversation, go back in, go to your sold list, find it. Buy it back from them, go over to sell, and then you'll be able to do it again. Here we will do if I can find it. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, shadow prisons. We've got seven of them. I hate these. I never use them. So we're gonna sell one to him. Marketplace, are you looking to buy items? Always looking to make it out coin? completely. 
Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Here, where is it? Shadow prison. See, six at nine. But if I go in here, now yeah, let's find the shadow prison. Okay, you buy it back, go over to sell, and now those six shadow prisons, instead of him buying them at nine each, he's buying them at 55 each. There you go. Pretty Are you looking to buy items or sell clear cut them? If you need and simple. Trade, then come and see Bernard. That is how to double or triple your money when selling items to a merchant. <coughs> And what I found, this will basically work. For any duplicate items. I have not tried it for any of these, but I'm, I'm assuming that it'll work for these duplicate items also. But I would hold on to this. I would not sell this, especially with the um, not recipes. Where is it? Like the components and this, especially these, because think about it. You're not going to get that much out of them. But if you turn around, you make potions out of them. Some of the high level potions. And again, you solve the greater potion. Sold it for, you know, he'll only buy it for 200 but if you sell him one, buy it back, that 200 now worth 1200 So, hold on to that stuff, and as you level up and get further in the game, you'll be able to make more money. All right. 